Ever wonder how the greats like Prime Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy send their drives and rotate so well? The simple answer is that they push and use the ground so effectively, golf becomes so easy for them. Ground force reaction is one of the biggest separators from good looking swings to great looking swings. It separates a low handicap amateur to the pros. So today I am with the top ranked golf coach in all of California and top 10 in the entire United States to add this to my swing. Not only that, but we add changes to my address position to help me with swing path, educate the hands to improve impact, and by the end of all of this, I not only have one of the biggest revelations in my golfing career, but my swing gets the biggest transformation it's ever had throughout this entire journey from scratch to scratch. So, S2, let's go! It's like... You're fine. Keep going. Yeah. There's a couple little things, but nothing. Yeah, and every time I get thin, it'll, it'll cut it because, like, kind of go this way. All right, so there you go. Okay. Um, I want you just to walk into one and take your your grip and everything. Okay. So stop. So this whole system is already left. Okay. See how that's like left? That's left by like a lot. Yeah. Okay. So take this arm off for a minute. Uh, this one. Yeah, and just kind of go, okay, like, that's where my face is, this is already set in. I'm going to take my right hand off, put the left arm on, just keep this soft underneath, yeah. and then bring it from underneath. Look where my forearms are pointing. <clears throat> mm. See that? It's, okay, got it. So you have your grip on, your grip's fine. Yeah. Bring this more under. Like this? Yeah, kind of underneath you. There you go. So you have, a, and stand a little touch further away. There you go. So this now, these are now pointing more to the right. There you go. So okay. This is more under. Gotcha. Go. I was trying to like do this, I guess, more to. Yeah, like... it's twisting everything over there. Okay, because I was like, is this more normal this way or? No. This is like, so this if, is still fine, I guess. If, if you get stuff. this way, yeah. Where's it's feeding that? Mm, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Start line was straight. Yay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do that again. Sometimes, like, when you're looking at things, you're looking for big picture things. You're looking yeah. for, like, am I steep, am I shallow? Have I turned enough? It, are my, is my lower body in the right spot versus the upper body? That's all fine. Yeah. But if you're at a dress, aiming wrong, the attachment's off, your shoulders are too far left, everything's downstream from that. So, yeah. like, if you can kind of, this is why, I like, setting up to a ball, if you watch pros, they get in there. Like, like Xander Shoffley, we just talked about this this week. So Xander has a particular fashion that he gets into a golf ball. Yeah. So he gets in there and he's like this. He brings the right arm under. Everything's set up. So now he knows no matter what, that's something that he can control. Mm -hmm. He can't control what happens in his golf swing. Yeah. He can feel it and maybe take course of action. Yeah. But he doesn't try to control it. Okay. That's where people kind of like mess things up. So okay. keep kind of doing that a couple more times. Sounds good. Good. So it started right, just stayed right. A yeah. couple more. So we're going to do all these things before we film it. Okay. okay. Awesome. Yeah, you are hitting it better. A little bit, yeah. A little bit? <laughs> That's a lot better. Lovely. Just start a little touch left, right? Yeah. All right, let's take a look. All right, so... We had a little discussion about your address position that the left arm is going to be above the right. Yeah. Um, and that, that is something that's pre-movement that you can control. Yeah. So in everything that's pre-movement, I know I can control the attachment being my grip. I know I can attach where my arms hang, where my weight distribution is, pelvis and everything. So we go to P1, which is address. Is there anything that's like an outlying issue? Well, what's interesting is that your pelvis, just on this one shot, you have a little bit higher right hip at address than you do it than the left. Okay. So for whatever reason, your left hip's a little bit too low at address. Yeah, oh, so we want to have that. Yeah, so what would that do to your lumbar spine? I'm not sure what it would do. Tilt it to the left, et cetera. Oh, okay, no, we kind of just want to go back to that. Yeah. Instead of we had, yeah. yeah, so right hip a little lower. Um, Okay, then we'll go to P2, club parallel. Okay, pretty good. Um, 
So a little shift to the right. I'm not going to worry too much about that because your pelvis bend is good and your tilts are good. Okay, so pretty good. So you do load to the right. We'll see if that relationship is better. And it's tremendously better. So now at the top, you can see you turn a bunch. Pelvis bends at 10, that's great. Yeah. Chest is more right of the pelvis. And you get to the top, slam, you look golden. Yeah, that was like the number one thing I was trying to work on is like not do the spine exercise though. You look great. No, it's really, really good. You're perfect. So 44 degrees of tilt. For an eight iron, that's close to 45. You look great. Really, really nice. So now through the downswing, pretty good. Upper hub goes a little touch forward. Yeah. And that's why it's fine, but that's why there's not a lot of separation into rotation. Yeah. So not a big fan of that because you're already landing. You should be able to separate and feel like your head goes back, which will get your wrist conditions a little bit better. But overall, pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, let me go to P6. Yeah, so pelvis side bend is kind of not happening. Chest bend. Yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. That was like the main thing that I was seeing yesterday. A lot of my misses too were just thin. And so it's just like, and then I kind of just like going. Well, there. so here's the problem. You used to stand up on it. Yeah. Okay. So you getting this more forward is not going to make you solve the issue because it's already forward, yeah. but you're up. So you almost need to feel like on the downswing that this rotates and this almost feels like it's going backwards. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what we're really looking for, and this is going to be the tough one, and this is actually good because it's a little bit of a revisitation yeah. of, I think, our second lesson. Mm -hmm. So in our second lesson, we talked about side bend. Yeah. Okay. So now side bend is actually going to appear kind of down at the impact interval as this rightward bend. Okay. But if the upper up, upper rib cage at the top goes more forward, mm -hmm. it tends to get this and this to go at the same time. Yep. So we want to create some separation. So to you, it's going to feel like your head's going backwards as your lower body's going forward. Yeah, so yeah. like left leg's gonna go forward and straighten, head's gonna feel like it's tilting sideways and backwards. So all of this is based going like this. Yeah, so straight, do that and straighten your left leg. Yep, and then feel like your shoulders are more tilted there. See how you get lower to the ground? Yeah. That's what you need. Okay. Now if you do that, what do you think your wrists will learn how to do? It'll probably learn to stay this way more. Yeah. Right, it won't do that. Okay because this is happening because you're forward and you're up. I see. Okay. Okay. So these are going to feel like chip shots for a while. Okay. I'm really happy with your backswing. Backswing's phenomenal. It's better. <laughs> well, it's good enough. I mean, it's, come on, it's great. <laughs> and then. Yep. This. Straighten the left leg. Feel like your head's going down and back. Down and back. Yeah, that. Okay. That's what, and just hit it like 10 feet. That's that was the feet. longest 10 feet I've ever seen. <laughs> I was trying to go so slow. That was great though. Okay. Good contact. Yeah. Feet. This is where you're hanging your hat though. So you got two things. You have your setup position that is more this way. Yeah. And then learning the adaptation of when pressure spikes left, I'll tell you what actually, for your viewers, yeah. what's actually occurring. So when pressure goes left, it's actually going down. Yeah. Okay. You're unweighting yourself essentially. Okay, which means you're getting lighter to get heavier. Okay, so then you push more pressure into the ground, which makes this vector tilt back. Yeah. That makes the wheel go this way. Mm -hmm. That's what's making you have side bend. Okay. And as that's occurring, because you're already in rotation, this is open, this is sideways, bam, I can hit a golf ball. And that's what gets the angles in the wrist to look this way. Mm -hmm. It's not dragging the handle to try to do it. I don't think about this. Yeah. It just happens. Okay. If I have to think about that, golf's too hard. So with that, why make golf any harder? Quick, go down below and subscribe to the channel. Not only do I document my full journey from never playing this game to trying to become a scratch golfer, 
I share with you full lessons with the greatest golf coaches in the entire world, from putting to short game to full swing, all of which is intended to make this extremely hard sport as easy as possible for all of you. Not only does it help keep the channel alive, but I'll also make sure the golf gods ricochets your neck shank off a tree and back onto the green for an easy up and down. With that S2, let's get back into it. Okay, you ready? Let's do a few. 10 feet. 10 feet. So, yep, so maybe left hip a little higher. And when you say 10 feet, it's 10 feet still with a full back swing. Yeah, yeah, just chip it. Okay, got it. We're just changing the pitcher. Yeah. Ooh, better. Do that again. So when I'm like, I land here, uh huh. Um, this is going forward as well, and this is just like... Straightening? Yeah, straightening. Like, doing that. So it's landing, pushing, see that? Yeah. Pushing, now it's pushing back and it's pushing up, and that's pushing you into side bend. Yeah. Okay? Yep, that makes sense. Great, good, keep doing it. You're gonna hit a bunch of those until you get this antiquated. Yeah, and I'm chunking it because I'm like... Just because you lost the wrist angles because you went up. So as you feel like you go down and push, it's gonna allow you to feel like the handle gets ahead. Oh, so I'm staying down the entire time. Yeah. And this is just, this is the only thing that's kind of going up. Correct. Yep, that's why we want to do it slow so you can kind of feel what that shaft's doing. Yeah. Good. Get more forward. Get more forward. Get more forward in regards to... Pressure. Place. Yeah, pressure, pressure. Now we're gonna see if we can get the body there. If we don't get the club there, I'm gonna give you an external cue to help you, okay? Okay. Great. Okay. I am gonna give you an external cue, but I want you to see this. Okay, so watch this. So, we're only looking at downstroke. So you come down, pressure goes forward. Look how your head isn't going forward anymore. See how like they're stacked on top of each other at P5? So like 3.8, 3.2. Yeah. So your upper body and, and lower body at five, lead arm parallel are on top of each other. At P5, right here, we do not want to have your head back at that point. We don't want it. No, because you're not gonna make contact. Okay. So you're good. Yeah. But what you do is you get them on top and then you keep going forward. Oh, okay. Because you remember, you want to rotate like this. Well, where's my head going? It's going towards the target. Yeah. You don't want to do that. You're going to pull it. Yeah. So now you're applying a vertical force, which is pushing out of the left leg, head staying down and back. See how the head's more back, hips more forward? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to fix your wrist angles as you do this, but your head's not going more forward. Look how during the impact interval, you're green. Yeah. To ching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. <laughs> So now your head can stay back as your hips are more forward, arms are more straight. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how a golf swing should look. Mm. Now, the panic is like, well, you need to educate your hand. So Homer Kelly, the, the, the golf machine, said that all players have education of what their hands do. Mm -hmm. We have to educate that. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So hands, this is what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. You ready? Yes. So we're going to save that. Now, how to do that is we're actually going to shorten the radius. Okay. So we'll do a new line right here. Okay. Yeah. So all good players, including wide players, are going to have some amount of, and I'll keep it simple, of shortening of the radius. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now they do that because they're changing direction on the shaft, essentially. Like if you really thought about it, at the top of the swing when your pressure is landing left, that's starting to load. Yep. But because your upper body was going forward and you're rotating like this, the club's throwing away. Yeah. Very typical, right? So if you look at Lucas Glover, he has a lot of this going on in his swing. Mm. Okay, a lot of what you might consider lag. Yeah. So how do we really train that to, to, to happen? Well, if I stood right here and I had a wall, okay, and I took the club back and I whacked the wall, I want to not whack the wall in the downswing. When my pressure gets left and I start to open and side bend, 
the club's actually getting like a foot away from the wall. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I want you to come in here and I'm gonna show you how to do this, okay? Okay. So we don't want this like this. Nope, it's just nope, like this. you're good. We want this like that. Okay, so go ahead and take your backswing to here. Uh, here. Good, so I'm gonna stand right here. Yeah. Now make your backswing. Now on the downswing, do what you're doing slowly, like you're not gonna hit this ball, and don't hit me with a club head. Keep going. Yeah, I feel like your head's more back, hips more up and forward. Oh yeah. That. This. Okay, I'm gonna stand here, you're gonna hit a ball. Don't hit me. Oh, you're fine. I'm gonna go you're, very slow. You're good. Go for it. That's the feel. See how you like, when you did that, you held the angle longer? Because you didn't want to hit me. Yeah. So do that again. So you're saying I'm bringing that in at the top? Yeah, so at the top, because you're landing left and side bending, you're going to feel like you're, you're shortening this radius. I so the club's actually getting closer to you. Oh, feeling. okay. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. This is why you don't worry about lagging the club if your body's not in the right spot. Okay. Because you'll miss the ball if you do. <laughs> okay. Okay, same thing. Go to P2. Make sure I'm in the right spot. Good. So right here. Okay. Yeah. Now start over. Now try to make that a foot closer so you don't hit it on the downswing. On the downswing? Yep. How do you do that? See the contact? Yeah. Thump. Yeah. It sounds like it's compressing yeah. the hell out of it. <laughs> okay, do that again. So just imagine that's there. Push out of the ground and side bend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just film you doing that. Hold on one second. Okay, okay you ready? So what did that feel like to you when you just did that? Uh, in slow motion, it just felt like... Like that. Can I look at that? Yeah. So this is just re-educating distally what's happening in the hands. Yeah. So P5. Right? Yeah. Now I almost want that club. And through your training, you're going to do this. Yep. This is loading back that way a little bit more. So like this and then yeah, kind of so, like... So let it almost like, like the club stays up there. And then, okay, got yeah. it. So it's not Right. Yeah, so yeah, then I through that action, how's that club? It's, that's the closest it's ever been to my... <laughs> to your right leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not trying to... So the key here is you're not trying to pull the club to that point. Uh, okay, what, what's... Okay, what it's, it's when you land and you push, you feel like you shorten that, that radius. Right, and it's happening up here. So it's like the club is here. You leave it here as you push back and side bend. It'll, it'll load. You don't need to go crazy with it. We nice. just want to get somewhere around here. This is fine. Then it impacts. Here your handle is. Yeah. It's forward. Yep. Well, the face is a little open because you got to turn it down. Yeah. But don't worry about that. But see now your handle's way ahead. Head's back, hips forward and tucked. Arms are extended. Mm. Can I try this with that, what you said? Don't try to pull it. I think I tried to pull it initially like this. Okay. But, so you're saying when it's, um, I'm coming up here, mm -hmm. and then this is, this force, I guess, is bringing it closer. Into that position. Yeah. 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 All right. Very good, though. Yeah. Like, you're, yeah, yeah, you try everything you want. That was great. This is a fun one. Yeah. Now you might is... hit it right, because the face isn't turned down. Yeah. But whatever. We'll figure that out. And so, boom. Yeah. Okay. We'll get to that secondary part. Yeah. Okay, ready? Did that go right? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so do that again. No ball, no ball. Oh, okay. I need to like turn this down. No, I'll show you, I'll show you. Yeah. Also, quick question, when you say stand back a little forward, what does that allow Just you to do? Just keeps your arms more on top of your rib cage instead of like trying yeah. to pin. I'm not a big fan of like, you've probably seen golfers put tees under their arms. Yeah. Not really a good idea. Hmm. And I know, okay, oh, Rory has a glove under his arm. It's Rory McIlroy, who cares? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, but don't do that because if you do that, that kind of limits range of motion and puts tension in your system. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Boom, boom. This. And just kind of hold a short follow through. Uh, go to the back yeah. Or? yeah. Go and come down. Whole thing. Yep. Keep pushing. Boom. Right there. I want you to feel more that oh okay 
Okay, so that's going to be that's where the face shuts down. Yep. Yeah. You didn't have to do that in the past because you had such a strong grip. Yeah. But if you did that, you hit it over there. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> then. So push up, side bend, and then boom. And look, this is a lot of spinning plates. You're, you're thinking about this plane of motion and this. Yeah. Hitting that. You'll get it. Closer. I did it so late. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. yeah. Do it before you hit it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to up the ante on this. This is it. This is all you're doing. I'm going to take your stick. Okay. You, nope, you're oh. good. This is going to be your alignment rod. I know it's not fancy. A little old school. Right now, this is aiming at uh, kind of towards the red a little bit. Okay. So I want these balls starting at the yellow pole right of the yellow flag or the red flag. Okay. I'm going to put this right here because your responsibility this day on is that you're going to know where these balls finish and where they start. Okay. So that you have a pattern because you have a contact issue that's somewhat gone away. Like yeah. right now, it's the best I've seen you make contact. But you have to have an understanding of where your miss is going to be. Yeah. If you can eliminate over here, that's great. Yeah. If they curve this way, that's great. But they got to start over here. Yep. And we want to eliminate the push fade. Yeah. Like we just kind of keep everything feeding over here. Okay. Yeah. So I'm feeling this right, like literally over here. I start. Oh heck yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That was like the big miss on my driver yesterday when I was going right. It would, I would do it like so late. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Let's take a look at that. That was beautiful. Oh no. Do it again. I can do it again. You ready? Yep. Did oh. it. So a little bit late on the face, but pretty good. Yeah. One more. One more. <laughs> okay, ready? Nice and smooth. Nice. Wow. Come look at this. That was great. So this will kind of expose like how much like where you're pushing and how, okay? Yeah. So we know you're good at pushing up because you like to stand up, yeah. right? So we know that to be the case. How much you push around is yet to be seen. I mean, I already see it, but mm -hmm. I think you need to push around more yeah. and stay down more. Like those two things. So we call it anterior posterior push from toe to heel, Yeah. okay? Um, or some schools call it shear force. Mm -hmm. Depends if you're a swing cat guy or a gas plate guy, which is like force plates. Yeah. But it's basically like getting how much transverse rotation do you have with your lower body? Yeah. And does it coincide with as much bend as you have? Yep. So if you have too much vertical force relative to this, then you're just pushing up and back. You're just getting slingers. Okay. So um, if we look here, let's look where we're at. So through this, Pretty good with the backswing, good right arm. That looks a lot better, right? So that looks yeah. nice. And then through the transition, pretty good lead arm. So like lead arm looks pretty good there. Shaft looks pretty good there. It's not steep. It's kind of pointing slightly outside the ball. This is fine. What's more important is where the hands are. Yeah. Are the hands out or are they in? Well, they're slightly in. So this is more of a draw bias pattern. Yeah. So, which is good. So now like, do you have enough left hip clearing which you do not. Yeah. But your shoulders are good. See how they're square? And that's actually really good. The face is good there. Started to the right, stayed outside your hands, and you stayed in your tilt. So I think the thing you gotta do, and this is actually a slow thing, yeah. is learn how to push away from the ball okay. while staying down. Yeah, I think that's a, the same problem we had la last week, I think, where this is high. Mm -hmm. And so does, does that mean like, I'm coming in here, I'm going down here, and this is just going more down, and this is going up. Up and back. Up and like that. Yeah, it's pushing away. So like if I was pulling, like go ahead and watch this. Yeah. So if I'm pulling you this way, yeah. now resist me. See so yeah, how you're pushing away. Okay, got it. Right, so I'm pulling you towards me, you're pushing away from me. I and see. you felt it from here. Almost so should died. I feel, feel it? So I'm landing here, right? Yep. And then I'm going down, and then push, I'm feeling it here to push back. Push up. away. Uh, away and you're already going up so you're gonna feel more away like that yeah like the, okay and as you're tilting your shoulders as I'm tilting my shoulders and 
like that and it, lagging. Yeah. yeah. So it's and that's why I want you to do it slow because you like to go fast. Yeah. But you when you recruit that way, you just push vertical. I see. Yeah. Okay. So we'll work on that. Okay. Nice. Okay, let's look. So really good here. Like that's beautiful, right? You don't have to make that any better. Land, lower body opens. Now, you see how there's a little bit of extension in your hip that's going towards the, kind of this way, towards the ball? Yep. You need to push away through the left foot, but the club's working from the inside and have a little more side bend. So there's a little arch in your upper back here. Yeah. Just need to straighten that a little bit more back. But that was really good. And there was no flip on that. That's what I mean, like you have to do that slowly. Yeah, let me let me try the, yeah. that again. I think I, when you say arch in the back, it's like. Yeah, because cause the hip was moving this way. Yeah. Instead of back, like pushing away. See how I go down? Yeah. But if this is pushing here, I'm anteriorly going this way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push up. Yeah. So when you do that and go like that, you're gonna miss, you, you're, you essentially would miss the ball unless you arched your back. Okay. Yeah. Let That's why you want to do this slow to feel this. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's look. Good. Oh, look at that. See, through the transition, you didn't stand up. Yeah. See how you're pushing around? Look at your hips are opening. See that? Yeah. Hips are wide open. Now, you did come up a little bit. And you need the side bend maybe a little bit more because it's a little too out. See, so you hosel rocketed it. Yeah. But so when you way say better. coming out of it or like the the hands. Oh, I see. So, but better though. So does that mean I'm? Well, so what I was like doing was this, and I went like that. Yeah, you kind of still because you're pushing this way, it covers the ball more. Mm. So you want to make sure that you're, if you're pushing this way, that you're tilting enough. So you're coming more from the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. So look, that looks beautiful though. See how you stayed in your tilt? That arm's in, push. Straighten the right arm a little bit there. Yeah. That look, was, at, look at the exit. I was trying to do this, but. Isn't that better though? Look at the exit. Yeah. Oh, so, I see. Yeah, it's perfect. So watch this. That's what, okay, I, I get it. This is what I mean, like when you're doing this, this is so like on the other side of what you were doing. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Left arm's in, you've reflexed, you're rotating, arm is in, hip is opening, little bit of extension in the right arm, but see how you stayed in your inclination to the ground? Yeah. So the hips are open, the shoulders are steep, and then the club, look, there's no flip there. So look how the face is like matching your side bend. And that, that slight extension caused me to hit off the hosel. Of the right arm. Yeah. You just, you're so used to doing this. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay. That was the best one. Oh, yeah. Man. Keep pushing that, that hip out. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, like okay. This. Let me yeah. film that. That was okay. awesome. Yeah. You could go down the road of playing where you were and, and be fine. Because you're already hitting it good. Yeah. Like in my opinion, you should, where your golf swing is currently and what you're doing, you can break 80 every time. Yeah. If your short game is on and you know how to putt. So, but this is where like, if you're looking at, I want to know how to flight a wedge. Yeah. You can't really do it where you were. Yeah. Cause this is just going like, it's like a barn door just slamming it with a tornado. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> so for you to stabilize that out, yeah. like people talk about like face control, that doesn't really exist. It's just you're in a better position so the face is less variant. Yeah. So that's kind of the concept. Yeah. We got a, yeah, we're aiming to have a swing for better than a scratch golfer so we'll land. Yes. <laughs> we'll land. Not bad. Okay, let me show you that. So like for, for normal lessons, I wouldn't necessarily do this. Mm -hmm. So normal lessons, I don't really, get them to turn as much you know get them to hit out and hit more of a draw yeah for your everyday guy you know that's not going to practice and grind um you do however so like you practice and you grind and you kind of want a nice looking golf swing well yeah. 
if you're going to do that, you have to learn how to push differently through your system. Mm. So like currently, you're just, you like to just push up. Yeah. So, which you're not going to lose, you're still going to have that. Like that looks great. See how you go down? Yeah. So there's your, you lose force, you're lowering, and you're pushing open, pushing from toe to heel. That looks awesome. Like that's perfect. Yeah. Can't do that any better. And then look at your hip is opening now. Well, that's different. Okay, and this actually allows this to get under mm -hmm. rather than what I had yes last week was high hip. It was high. Yeah. yeah. And there's your side bend. So like if you took a like a screenshot of that, oh that goodness. totally looks different. See how you're bent over, right hips lower, right elbows more bent. Yeah. Now you hit the ground because this is a little straight in the right arm. That'll go away. So when so that I guess I'm a little more confused on supination part. Where, yeah. when does, so does this like never straighten out? It's just slightly, this is just going like that. Like that? Yeah. Not that. I wouldn't like worry about that too much because you're pretty good. Okay. To be honest. See, I just feel like when I'm doing this, so I'm coming in and this isn't going like that. It's. Yeah. Don't, don't even worry about it. Just focus on right. There's too much to worry about. Focus yeah. only solely on. Keeping this at bay yeah. and work the body piece. Dang it. Eureka. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of time. Yeah. And uh, with the side bend? Uh huh. Um, hmm. I'm just, sometimes I feel like I'm doing this and I'm, like falling off. Well, you need to feel, remember I said your head's gonna feel like it's back. Yeah. It's going backwards. But because you're opening, you're not. Oh, so just going together. Yeah, so the head, the head will actually go back, but because this is driving open, it's not like I'm gonna fall over my right foot. Yeah. Right? Now, if you just went like this and didn't do anything, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, the force is crazy, because I've always wanted to turn by just like going this and then bring it out with like, well, no. you, yeah, you did it with your chest. Yeah. So you used to go like this, and then you thought rotation was this. Yeah. It's like, no, well, look, my arms go. Yeah. They come out. So I need to feel like I'm pushing the lower body and then side bending and to line it up. Yeah, that's... So okay. it's like your shoulders are doing... So good, good way of doing this is if this is walking forward, where am I rotated? I'm rotated this way, right? Yep. But this is this, is this way, right? And then as this is moving, this is this way. Well, my shoulder is actually tilting through that cycle. Tremendous. Very good. Yeah, Don't worry felt... about it going right. Just That was great. Do that yeah, again. That felt better. Bingo. Look at this. Wow. That, okay. that was that cool. That feels different, but it feels better by like a lot. How does that look? The exit is... A lot different, huh? Yeah. See, so simple. Yeah. <laughs> when you, when it's an easy game. Simple. Stop going so fast, guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's part of it. It depends. So, like, here's the weird thing. Like, okay, yeah, I work with guys with a lot of speed. Yeah. Well, they're already wired to do that. Yeah. So, okay, like, I don't have to talk about that. I can talk about other things. But if you're not wired to do that and you need to put that into your system, well, you have to train for it. Okay. So, look how good four, five six see all the room yeah so now you're pushing the left ball foot to heel and vertical to get yeah. your side bend mm -hmm. for you to have all that room to hit the ball and then have a somewhat stable 2d looking face yeah okay so that's what we're looking for so like this pattern what you're doing is a little different because you get like in the instruction industry you get a lot of different narratives on how to do things yeah. and so I kind of teach four patterns, mm -hmm. depending on who I'm dealing with. Yeah. So one of those patterns might be, as the plane flies over. Sorry. <laughs> okay. First Uber Eats, now we got Uber yeah, Flight. Got, yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's dropping off a pink hair package. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, um, that's steak coming. Okay. <laughs> so one of those patterns might be you get to the top, and then as you transfer your weight, you straighten your right arm down. Yeah. Problem is, you straighten your right arm. 
So now I have to somehow rotate higher right shoulder, exit more left, and to be fair, the ball flight tends to get lower that way. Okay. I'm not a big fan of that, especially when you start getting to driver. Yeah. So um, far into the spectrum would be, you look at guys that have a lot of side bend, like Joaquin Neiman, yeah. and a lot of rotation. But I kind of like to be in the middle. Sounds good. Do a few more. That yeah. was good. I'll do the caddy view. Okay. Okay. Good. Wow. Stripey. Yeah, this. Welcome to handle lean, kiddo. In my hand, is it? <laughs> yeah, that was leaned. A little chunky. And then it's. What do you think? Close? Kind of. I felt like I'm going like that. Yeah. All right, you need to look at that. This looks awesome. See so our pressure landed left? Yeah. Better. Could lag a little more, but see how the handle's getting better? Handle's ahead. That's different, huh? Crazy. Boom. There you go. Arms are straight. And there's like a little bit of space here for this. Okay. Is I like how it's day one. It's day one. It's day one, dude. Like, it's okay. Okay. You'll train that in. All right, let's do that again. Yeah. So recapping, like, everything so far, um, the simple thing is, at the beginning, the address. Yep. So this, a little bit here, so that this is not above. Mm -hmm. And then this is a little lower. Yep. And then from there, I kind of just do everything we've done in the last couple of weeks, where it's, I'm not coming up, I'm just going... This, this is landing, and then instant landing, I'm basically pushing this back while I'm side bending. Yes. And so, um, and this, like I said, if you were to subsect this from like eight iron to sand wedge yeah. to learn to do this, mm -hmm. you're going to start learning to de-loft it. Yeah. You can't do it with a five iron real well, because mm -hmm. in your head, because, and I'm saying this just from experience. Yeah. You don't have any loft. So if your brain's always adapted to do this to try to club, to add loft to it, like that's not gonna be very, it's not gonna serve you very well. Yeah. So doing it with, with a, like a higher lofted club where you de-loft it, yeah. that's what you wanna do. So the better that you get with, okay, I get here, land left, change the direction, and then push from toe to heel and side bend, I'm gonna shut that face down. And I'm gonna put be like energy through the ball. Okay. You get that spin loft a lot tighter and you start smashing it. Gotcha. So, okay, actually this is kind of more a mechanical question. How does it, so when I'm doing this, it seems like the, the club face is like square okay. at impact. Yeah. When it's square at impact, how is it starting right? Because your handle's more forward. Oh, and it's like this. Face is more to the right. Oh, like, like this? Yep. That's oh. what I mean. We, oh, I we don't want to twist the face around until you get shaft length. I see. So if, I, I see. if I'm good at this, where's the ball starting? Starting over there. Yeah. So I'm going to get adapted to, boom, getting more that way. Yeah. And, and this essentially causes the draw. Like no, it's just the path causes the draw. Oh, the path going right. Yeah. Face being to the right starts it right. Yeah. That's what starts it. And yep. then the resulting path is what curves it. What do you mean by the face versus the path? OK, so. Yeah. I think we talked about this day one. Day one, probably. So yeah. ball's only on the face for a, like a millisecond. Yep. So if the face is square, it's starting straight. Yep. If the face is right, it starts to the right. What curves that ball is the direction I'm swinging, to the right or to the left. So the ball curves away from the direction I'm swinging. So if I'm swinging to the right, the ball curves left. If I swing left, the ball curves right. Oh, I see, I see. Close. Get a little bit more down and back with that pressure. There you go. Right Do that again for me. Pretty nice. All right, so you're gonna do that again, but you're not gonna hit this on the downswing, like I'm standing there. So you gotta miss that coming down. Okay, ready? You got it, you're fine, go and set up. Can I go like 2% speed? <laughs> uh, I would. I would, I would. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I told you I was gonna mess you up. Come look at this. How's those wrist angles? It's looking good. Right, club actually lagged. 
Boom. Can we do that again? That was nice. Yeah. What's causing the, the chunk? Is that what's like... causing it? Well, you've never been there before, number one. <laughs> I need okay, to That's now. causing it. <laughs> You're a foot lower to, uh, to the ball by P6. You okay. So the better that you push back, yeah. the better you're going to be. Okay, let's do that again. So put all your attention there. Oh, but I, you're, you're fine, you're fine. Okay. But miss this club. It's going to be actually six inches closer. Don't hit it. Ready? Yep. Miss it. Smashy. Yeah, I need a, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot, um, I guess the thought there is like, in order for me to get this, I have to go a little lower, but if I do that, then I have to come out. Bingo. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the more you go down, you're gonna to react to that. That's really different. See how it lagged earlier? Look at that. Well now, come here. The sound is so different. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Wait till you see this. Okay, this is awesome. Land. Push. Oh, I'm so. Yeah. Han handles like, look at that. Yeah. Handles actually like mid thigh almost. Yeah. When it's 90. Handles ahead. Bam. Hips are wide open. Yeah. It's like, it's like a completely different swing from. Yeah, I mean, your hips are facing the target now. Yeah. That's why it's not try to turn your hips. Yeah. I'm not. I mean, I'd never really tell people, oh, turn your hips. Mm -hmm. Like, no, 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 no. Push. Yeah. If you stay in your inclination, you're going to open. The number one thing I need to do is drop your videos now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Yup. I honestly cannot believe my swing ended up looking like that by the end of this lesson. I am in complete disbelief right now. I can tell you that with full certainty. And if you want to be in disbelief like me, click on that thumbnail right over there. YouTube and Tiger Woods. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I checked with him. <laughs> Guarantees you will love it. Go, go, go. I'll see you guys in the next one.